Welcome back to another video no. of Cinderella Phenomenon with Wolves, Caleb, and Cyrus. I did it. Oh my gosh, I was so distracted Just by you the people. Bugs Bunny. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Are we ready to keep going? We're almost there. Yeah. We're almost there. Mm -hmm. You have a very aggressive line here, Moon. Warg! Snailed it. It went the complete opposite direction with that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you about? I, about I nailed it. I, I nailed that line. I nailed that line. Has three ear piercings. Yeah, you mm -hmm. didn't notice that before. Mm-hmm. Nice, bro. He could have it, more. It just hidden by the hair. I have a, yeah. like black hair. Mm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we know. Leave me alone. You guys get to simp over your red and like white hair. I'm gonna just hey, be over hey, here. Hey, hey. Okay. This isn't about us. Okay. <laughs> Leave us out. Leave me I'm sitting okay. over here unaffected uh, uh, by all of these characters. <laughs> so funny just watching you're just us. Cats. Just put the lore in on screen. I've been drawing Wait till the beast like comes things. on the next scene. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It it doesn't matter how many times you say my name, Alcaster. I won't have any <clears> answers <throat> for you. <clears throat> it, uh, it doesn't matter how many times you say my name, Alcaster. Brilliant. Thank you. Better. Oh my gosh, that actually genuinely scared me. <laughs> There was a roar, but like I wasn't. I was like kind of dazing out a little bit, and it just freaked me out. Okay, Sir Alcaster turns to me. His eyes, word, manic. Thank you. Whether this is Mythos magic or magic belonging to one of your friends, I'm not going to let it live. Could Dolores create a beast out of thin air? No. <laughs> well, maybe, but this is no. Sir Alcaster draws his sword from his sheath and curses under his breath. I squirm, desperate to find some kind of break in my restraints. Mark surprises me, however, by reaching down and cutting the ropes binding my arms with a sword that I recognize. Okay? You have my sword. I stand up as quickly as I can and grab the sword from him. That was too easy. I eye Varg warily as his mouth twists into a smirk. What are you doing? Why are you helping me? Help. All I did was cut some ropes. Be cut. Besides, I'm curious to see what you'll do with that toothpick of a sword. He talks like he doesn't care at all what happens, cause he doesn't! He really he doesn't, that's what's funny. <laughs> that's what makes him a great character! <laughs> Don't think about it too much, princess. It's probably a little too much for your small head. Wow. <laughs> I love him so wow. much. <laughs> wow. I swing my sword towards him and Vark catches it with his cane. You really think that I'm the one you should be fighting? She just wanted to take a good swing at you, buddy. Don't don't worry about it. The door creaks and falls off its hinges. The knights stumble back, and I hear screaming as loud footsteps sound against the hall tiles. So what will you do? Run, hide, or will the beast kill you too? Oh! 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 oh. Big dog! Big dog! <laughs> My eyes focus on the large bark, bark. <laughs> My eyes focus on the large figure entering the room. Though I can't make out specifics at first, the form grows more distant the further it moves into the room. Distinct. Distinct. Got it. Bark. Snailed bark. it. Just he, like as he's moving forward, he just is also moving backwards at the exact same time. <laughs> shut, <laughs> shut up. He's shut just, up. He's also no clipping through the ground. Up and down. Shut he's up. rubber banding back shut and forth. He's lagging really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Shut like up! When you drag things on editing things, it's just okay, continue. <laughs> Whatever this is, I can't fight it. There's a moment of eerie silence, and then Alcaster yells, and the knights rush forward, attacking the beast as a collective. The beasts no. throw them off with surprising nimbleness, his rage in, his rage in every swipe. I dodge Lord. away just before a man's body falls on top of me. Oh. Lord. Oh, that's, that, that's a cool figure. That is. Hmm. Over here, beast. Wow, oh. you're Gaston, bruh! <laughs> Just clicked! Bark, bark. <laughs> Sir Alcaster bark, bark. rushes at the beast. Oh, buddy, did you not read the fairy tale? Because that's, oh, you're gonna that's, 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 that's not the way to go. Do you not see, like, the sharp teeth? That yeah, but really you. I, find... I think he's made of shadow yeah. or something. I don't think you could physically attack it. I finally managed to... To get a clear line of sight to the king, who is still bound and helpless on the throne. The king. I have to get him out of here. I run towards the throne, but someone stops me dead in my tracks. Hello. 
Saving the king really shouldn't be your priority right now. Bruh. Bruh. Go back to observing. Because you're telling us to do everything. I grip my teeth and swing my sword at Varg, but he easily darts away from me. I would be watching my back. Oh, hi. It's, <laughs> it's then that I notice the beast slowly making its way towards me. Why He's would it be after me? Pet him. Pet him. <laughs> he pet him. Like, good boy. <laughs> Either I stay here and fend it off, or... Alcaster catches the beast with a broad swipe of his sword, and the two are focused once more on each other. I glance urgently at the king, then at the doors. The beast moves again, and I realize that it's once, it's once more heading towards me. There's no way I can help the king in all this mess. I, I need help. I have to find the others. Hopefully, Alcaster will keep the beast busy long enough for me to get to them. He leaves and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh! I turn and bolt through the room, weaving my way through the chaos of knights as I head towards the door. I glance over my shoulder one last time at the king. His eyes are trained on the battle before him. His hands grip, grip the arms of his throne, but there's nothing he can do. I'm so sorry. I'll be back. But for now, I'll have to find the others. I dart past the carnage in the room, stepping over and around bodies as they appear. Halfway to the door, the beast lunge past Sir Alcaster, and for a few moments, I think he might be attacking me. Stay back. Don't yell at him. Pet him. Pet him. I hold my sword out in front of me and stand in a defensive position like Claude taught me, but the beast never reaches me. Oh, this is still me. This is just all me. Yeah. You ruined everything, beast. Wow. Work. <laughs> yeah, you you guys can you guys can be the beast. Eo uh, Caster is suddenly in front of me, or... waving his sword at the beast. I stumble back uh, towards the doors, my heart beating loudly in my chest. Or, or... I have to get out of here. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Chapter ten. Da <laughs> wow, if we didn't already know what it was. <laughs> Where did the beast come from? You could have seen this coming. Not, Not us. <laughs> Knights immediately rush towards me. I back away as far as I can without re-entering the throne room. Fantastic, come quietly and we'll keep you safe. So we're safe until all this pipes down. Sure. I can't take them all on at once. Even knowing that I still- Even knowing that, I still put out my sword. just offered you help, what? But like, it's like the suspicious kind of help, I'm thinking. It's the like a, we'll come take you to a after. safe place, you know, where they're just gonna like lock her in a room. Mm-hmm. I take a few steps back, and then suddenly I feel my back pressed up against something. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Oh. Just, you know, back ah. up into fluff. Pet him. You yeah. back up into fur. Yeah. Into the beast fluff. stands behind me. You don't me. pet him this instant. <laughs> <laughs> the beast stands behind me. It's back to me. I stand in its shadow, and I... Ugh. I stand in its shadow, and I realize that if I that if it turned around, I could swat... It could swat me to the walls just like the rest of its victims. But it's just standing there. Oh, hello, sir. This wait, wait. This sound kind of like Caleb? Uh, haggard? Caleb, do you have like a voice change? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's on it. T together. Beautiful. Okay. Lovely. Yeah, that works. T together? <laughs> the beast says nothing more. Though I still feel on edge, there's something oddly familiar about this. Claude told me once that it was better to fight back to back. I'll trust you for now, or whatever you are. I don't know if it understands me, but I can hope. It seems more like a human than any kind of animal. Cause he is. Princess, princess, get away from that beast! It will. The knight never finishes the sentence as the beast sends him flying through the air. <laughs> Why is it helping me? The knight, the knights fall like domino. What is the sound? Oh, it's this. Okay, never mind. The knights fall like dominoes. I would have laughed at it. Beast. Sounded like bowling. <laughs> it was like clanking. It was weird. Right. Uh, but. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the knights fall like dominoes to the beast, but manage to remain standing when I strike them with my sword. Even just taking one down is so hard. These men have been trained for years, while well, I haven't even had the luxury of a year. Out of the corner of my eye, I sense movement. I see, I see a gleam of sh 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 I see a gleam of silver, and I hear a grunt as the sword is raised into the air. The sword is nowhere near reaching me, but the beast! Oh no! I am a king at an approaching night before whirling around to look at the beast. The oncoming sword comes closer to the beast's exposed back, and I know the beast will not be able to dodge in time. Move! Buddy, go! I shove past the creature and catch the knight's sword with my own before it can harm the beast. 
My arms are shaking underneath the strength of the impact between our swords. I feel like my arms are going to give out, not dive out, a dive out, hello? And then a flash of light appears, so bright that everyone is temporarily blinded. Again. Is that literally her last piece? Yeah. <laughs> that, that was yeah. the stupidest moment ever. Sorry. Like, I, I got the moment, because, like, that was a good deed. But it's awkward. Awkward timing. She's done so many better things. Legit. Tell a beast to move. I know. You no, 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 she, she defended him. him. Yeah. She, she defended like, him oh. without line, knowing line. who it was. I saw my back rubbing at my eyes. From the sounds of it, the beast has continued to drive back the knights. Most of them shouting to each other, uh, shouting to each other to retreat. What was that? When I'm finally able to see again, my eyes automatically land on my feet. I stare in shock. Good luck. Good Hello. luck battling and yeah. girl. <laughs> she, no, bro, bro. She's got those heels now. Step on some guy's toes, it'll hurt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just take yeah. off slippers and just start chucking on the people. <laughs> probably just breaking it's her glass. Feet. I mean, it'll hurt. Yeah. Glass slippers? I quickly reach up to my pendant and I realize that it's no longer there. I completed my three good deeds. Alexis. How you doing? Okay. <laughs> it knows my name. I look around and realize that the beast and I are alone. The knights have fled. Did the beast drive off the rest of them? I feel a pressure at my back and I realize that the beast is touching me. My first instinct is to run, but the words it utters next paralyze me. Ew. Just that. The word you <laughs> paralyzes her. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Every word sounds breathless and pained, like it takes too much to speak. Is it worried about me? I watch in shock as the beast appears to gesture towards my shoes. You did it. I step back warily. What are you? The beast reaches out and I see something glitter at the palm of his hand. Oh, so cute. cute. The rose I'm locket. Give that to him. You uh, know. Yeah, Imagine legit. If he didn't have that. <laughs> I know. For a few moments, my heart plummets into my stomach and my hands begin to quiver. <laughs> oh, wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> wrong assumption. Wrong assumption. Uh... Wrong assumption. Oh, what did you do oh. to Claude? Wrong it's assumption. Like these were so stupid. Yeah. The beast's shattering fingers curl over the locket even as he stares at me. Gave me. I gave that locket to Claude. But you idiot, connect the dots. Alexis, please. The beast only stares at me for a few moments longer, and then suddenly I realize that his words, that that his words, okay, nothing more than a pained growl, do not hold any malice. I gave that locket to you. The beast slowly nods. I grasp it on my sword, loosens as I stare at him in shock, realization dawning upon me. Claude. Yes. So this is from beast to Claude. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your secret? Why would you not tell me? I could have hurt you. Claude has another form, a cursed form, and he never told me. Why? As my mind whirls, I feel everything coming together like pieces of a puzzle. Oh god. <laughs> secret is secrets for a reason, princess. You should know that. If I could speak on them, I would. But I can't. Alexis, I wish I could explain. You would hate me, or more accurately, you would be afraid of me. The fact that you just switched between three different voices of Claude, <laughs> just like applause. Yes. <laughs> oh, All of those voices, like I know. We're going from here Legit. to here to. <laughs> All of those times Claude was clutching at his chest. You were touching your tattoo so many times before, like you were in pain. The beast growls, and the sound is surprisingly soft, almost a sigh. Curse. And then the tattoo was... A warning. The first time I saw that tattoo was a beautiful rose. The second time, it had more thorns. When the rose became ensnared in thorns, did he transform? And he's always touching his hat too when he came too close to me. Claude, your curse didn't make others fall in love with you. It stopped you from loving anyone too, didn't it? Oh, did not just. Snailed it. It stopped you from loving anyone too, didn't it? He mentioned that woman before, the one he thought loved him but didn't. Is it possible that she saw him in his form and was terrified of him? If you loved anyone, you would 
turn into a beast. You loved a woman once, but she only loved you because of your curse. The minute you transformed, she was scared of you. Wasn't she? Yes. He sounds so pained. The reason Claude had been trying to hide everything from me is because he's scared that I would have feared him. That's why beauty that's why beauty beauty has always been so important to him. Stay there. But the curse cast upon him makes him both beautiful and a beast. He's both. Congratulations, buddy. Yeah. You're you're the whole story. I've been wanting to say that for so long. I was like, he's both. <laughs> yeah. I really thought he was gonna stop after you, and I was about to be like, buddy. <laughs> uh, love me. But no one could. Love a beast. Okay, but Classic let's. Line. Let us look at the story. Um, <laughs> his words are dwindling. It almost sounds like he's being suffocated on the inside. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the longest collapse. <laughs> <laughs> With how slowly he's speaking. Claude, I've never cared about I've never cared much about appearances. People have worn masks on their faces their whole life around me. Claude, I Oh Say your feelings. Oh this is the one thing in this game I can't do. I take a deep breath and face him. I'll love you no matter what form you take. I drop my sword to the ground and make my way over to him. I rest my cheek on his chest and wrap my arms around him. I love you. Yeah, it's like just, but he's like all fluffy now and everything. Yeah. So like, legit. <laughs> yeah, me too. The room is filled with a bright but gentle light. It, it almost feels like I'm bathing in sunlight. For a few moments, I forget my worries. Everything feels blissful and quiet, and my heart feels full. Then, moments later, I feel warm arms around my waist. How you doing? I love you too, Alexis. Why is everything still super bright? It's still so bright. I know. There we go. Uh, yeah. Normal. How it's you normal. doing? Oh. When I open it's my outfit like change. The yeah. outfit change. Yes, we support. When I open I my like eyes, how... what? No, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's sorry. I just like how there's like, like you no longer have to like disguise as a woman anymore. Here's your prince outfit back. Yeah. <laughs> they said here. Magic. <laughs> Magic. When I open my eyes, I still can't see anything, even though I know that the light has faded. That warmth is still there too, but now I feel it immediately on my skin, and I realize that it's because Claude is hugging me. Not as a beast, but as a man. Did I break his curse? I realize that this is the first time Claude has ever touched me for a long period of time without abruptly moving away. <laughs> That's so uh, sad. Uh, Open oh. touch stars. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tentatively, I move my hands, feeling the fabric of his shirt and the warmth of him underneath it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, she's blushing. Please stop. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's like, I can't do this. I can't do this. Cut, you want me to? Like, I, love I don't speak romance. Legit. Oh, hello, hello, hello. But before I can finish my sentence, my lips are sealed. I feel Claw's lips on mine, only briefly, but it's enough to make me suddenly feel faint. Oh. He pulls away from me with a brilliant smile. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. I've always wanted to do that. And you're blushing now, too. This is, like, the first time he's, like, properly blushed. Oh, yeah. I've gotta say. I don't I think, think he's, he's actually... blushed before. I don't no, think he he's... Has. He has. I don't think he he's has. blushed, like, in this outfit, though. I swear he has. He was shirtless once. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Caleb's a brother. <laughs> Do you want him to be shirtless? Right. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Do you really need to ask that, Cyrus? <laughs> Alexis, you're blushing. If I could, I would kiss you again. But we have some urgent things to attend to. Yeah. <laughs> the reality of the situation begins to seep back into me. My father, Varg, yeah. Eo Caster. They're all still in the throne room. They're just making We're out. Still it's, fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. Sorry. The king! <laughs> Let's go, Alexis. When Claude and I rush into the throne room, my attention is immediately grabbed by the king calling my name. Oh, not me. Please not me. Please not me. Cyrus. Yay! Huh? Oh, wait, yeah, I, I voiced him before. You did the name before. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alexis. He's still bound to the throne, though, uh, though his gag is removed. A rush of relief floods through me. He's still alive. He's alive and he remembers me. 
My she broke her... What? Never mind. What? She broke her curse, and that's why he remembers her. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my gaze is drawn to the two men battling at the base of the throne. Their swords are locked together in a stalemate. I'm proud of you. What? <laughs> that was a lot of words that you said right. You're right! End of video. <laughs> that's it. I'm done. I quit the game. End of series. End of the channel. No more videos after this. <laughs> Greatest accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> Play outro music. Yeah. <laughs> EL Caster and. Oh! Oh, he finally makes an appearance. Yay! <laughs> Fritz? How you doing? What has happened here? Oh. Wait, did uh, I do. No, oh. I didn't. I didn't do Fritz. I did. Um... I, I did Fritz, actually, a while ago. No, yeah. older, older Fritz. I did him. No, in, you did uh... older Waltz. That was Waltz. This uh, is Fritz. Okay. Fritz was always Waltz. Because Fritz never well, existed actually, in, like... This is not how you gain power. That was... I can't... <laughs> that was I can't so... do it. <laughs> this is not how you gain power. I can't do a power deep voice. Not I'm trying. Power. I can't. Like, I'm... I knew you would be I a don't... thorn in my side from the moment I concocted this plan. Where's Varg? The only one here is me. And I will... Fritz's concentration slips as his eyes land on me. The opening is small, but it's enough to give Alecaster the opportunity to know. Will? No. Watch out. No. Please, no. Oh, no. Chloe's already running over to help, but even he's too slow. Alecaster disarms Fritz before driving his sword through Fritz's chest. Oh, my oh. gosh. No. Man, That's your son. <laughs> Someone has to die every route. What the heck? Well, no one died in broad. Well, technically Mithros did, but we won't. Mithros we did. won't talk about that. No. Alcaster pulls the sword out of Fritz's chest just fast enough to deflect Claude's attack. As Claude drives Alcaster away from the throne, I rush to where Fritz has collapsed to the ground. His eyes are already growing glassy. Yes, Fritz. I lean over him. There's so much blood. I glare at Alcaster. How could you do this to your own son? Oh man, I'm having a conversation with myself. Anyone in my way will, will meet my sword. Blood does not matter. As you can tell you. Yeah. Sus. I turn back to oh, Fritz exactly. in alarm. Tears in my eyes. Fritz, hold on. I... Looks fine to me. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, he ain't bleeding, what are you talking about? Uh. <laughs> Don't speak. You need to conserve your energy. Princess, I'm sorry. No, stop it! Stop it! Fritz, please don't. Don't speak. Oh, she's crying. I know. I feel bitter tears sticking in my eyes. I'm sorry. I watch as the life seeps from Fritz's eyes. I pull my hand to his chest to feel his for his heartbeat, but Fritz's body is still. Fritz! Ah, uh, no! I glance up at the sound to see Claude at the far side of the room, struggling to get to his feet. Dad? <laughs> Oi. <laughs> I Actually, Cyrus is your dad, so that makes sense. <laughs> That's why I said it! <laughs> Alexis, watch out. I turn, but, um, but am not. Fast enough? Okay. <laughs> okay. But am. But am. But am, am not. It's <laughs> the but am. I am not fast enough. <laughs> but am not fast enough. <laughs> I see Eel Caster's sword raised high in the air, and I know it will reach me for, before I can pick up my sword. Hello. Me and nice. Bro, bro. Do you see? Just, just look at his face. Look, look at his face. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. And then ready. Angry. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> The sword falls from E.L. Caster's hand as a bright red ribbon of light twines around the hilt and drags it far from reach. I turn and see Dolores standing a short distance away. Jurian, uh, Garland, and Walter are all standing behind her. That's a weird... Okay. I am afraid your performance as king has has been incredibly disappointing. Jurian and Garland move together, rushing E.L. Caster from the same side. I see Claude moving in from the other side, quiet and lethal. Princess... Waltz and Dolores rush over to me as the fighting continues. E.L. Caster has reclaimed his sword and is trying to evade attacks from three different swords at once. The king. Waltz nods at me, his gaze lingering on Fritz as his expression becomes solemn. He walks off to the throne while Dolores kneels beside me. 
Dolora. Dolora shakes her head, and that's all I need to know, that there's nothing more to be done. We will make oh. sure he is poorly honored. Uh, poorly, poorly honored? honored? <laughs> <laughs> poorly honored. Jeez, we will make sure that he is buried and no one else. <laughs> My oh, gosh. gosh. <laughs> but for now, we need to get out of here. We need to get you out of here. What about Ophelia? Waiting for us somewhere safe. I constructed a shield around her that should keep her that will keep her hidden from view and harm until we return for her. They just forget about her. <laughs> yeah, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, guys. Hey, hello. <laughs> Weren't we meant to bring the royal family back to the march at first? Not when the missing king. Not when we're missing the king. Besides, plans change when a magical beast starts rampaging in the castle. <laughs> about that. Oh, princess. I turn to look at E. Caster, who is still somehow managing to scream my name despite the fact that he's being quickly overwhelmed. Okay, buddy. Stop multitasking. Oh. Princess, we could have worked together. No. What do you mean? Oh, if you were more like oh. your mother, you could have ruled with grace, beauty, and fear. I flinch back and Dolores' hands come to rest on my forearms, her grip steadying. That is enough. I look up and see that the king has stopped to stand beside me. To my surprise, the king rests a gentle hand on my shoulder, his eyes soft as he looks at me. Alexis, we have a lot to talk about, but right now, I have something I must do. Is he gonna pick up a sword? Yup! <laughs> I nod mutely and watch as the king- the <laughs> Yeah, I nod mutely and watch as the king draws his sword. He makes his way to Eelcaster. During Garland and Claude step back from where they are, from where they have forced Eelcaster to one knee. You are a traitor lacking any honor, Alcaster. Wow. Said normally. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who lacked honor. A ruler must have the people beneath uh, his thumb. Blech. A ruler must lead people, not suffocate them. His honor as king is to protect them. Close enough. Same difference. You are no king, Alcaster. For your crimes, I find you guilty and incapable of rehabilitation. The symptoms for the severity of your crimes is death. The king raises his sword, and I turn away before he strikes down his sword. There's no sound or scream to follow. I turn once more to see that the king has pointed the sword at Alcaster's chest, but has not killed him. You will stay in the prisons until your time for your trial comes. Though you might try to refute these claims, you have been tried as a traitor to this kingdom. And he will be executed. Eeeo Caster's shoulders fall. The glare never leaves his face, not even when guards seize him and drag him from the room. The king immediately sends Jurian and Garland out to deal with any knights that are still part of the coup. Dolora and Claude help with moving Fritz's body, while Waltz tries his best to fill in the king in on one of the most basic points of our successful operation. Baby, while we're